Good morning, my name's David. I'm a mild-mannered, middle-aged electrical engineer, but in my spare time I make some mica creations. Here's my latest one. This is what I call the bike sound system. <clears throat> I have an old Schwinn six-speed cruiser that I've been taking to Burning Man for a few years, hence the leopard fur. And I've had a 15-watt per channel little stereo on the back behind the seat, but that wasn't quite enough for me this year, so I decided I would amp it up a little. The uh, speakers on this thing are made by PV. There's a ne PV Pro 12 Neo woofer, one in the back and another one in the front, and this is a PV TriFlex system tweeter. And they're rated at uh, 200 watts RMS each. So the power comes from this Pioneer Class D car amplifier. It's a GMD 9500F, rated at 150 watts per channel, bridged stereo into 8 ohms, which is what this is. These are a couple of Dayton Audio crossovers, 2.5 kilohertz. These are sold by Parts Express. Inside the box is a bunch of 5 amp hour LiPo 11.1 volt RC car batteries. You can get those from King Hobby, or is it Hobby King? And you'll notice that there's two sets of speaker connectors. That's because this left channel box actually contains the front woofer and the rear tweeter, which are connected to different stereo channels. There's a level control for the tweeter, which is a 50 ohm L pad, also made or sold by Parts Express. And all we have to do to listen to it is to turn it on. So I put in this power switch with a big light to remind me to turn it off when I'm done using it. And then the music comes from this iPod. <clears throat> So all I have to do here is push the play button. There's a little USB charger with a car lighter adapter right there. Keep the iPod charged up. You could also use another brand of MP3 player if you wanted to. And there's a tail light to make it legal. At the moment, it's turned down pretty low. I don't know if you can hear me talking now, but I'm talking. That's not turned up all the way. Either. So it gets it gets pretty loud. So that's how you make a bike stereo when you're an engineer who goes to Burning Man.